So, um, to make a um, 13 episode anime costs 1.8, it's actually Oku Eni. I don't know how to say that in uh, 100 or 100 million. 100 million. So, it's nearly 200 million yen uh, to make a 13 episode um, anime. And it's very difficult to recuperate costs, basically. So, one of the reasons why lots of anime companies continue to make um, anime titles is because that one of them will, um, one of them will be hit, and um, so they just bring out all these. They know they don't expect all of these anime titles to be hit. Um, and one of um, they say this bets is to make uh, make edgy anime bits. Because there's lots of uh, itchy <coughs> um, Yeah, they can censor the TV version, and then the Blu-ray version can have lots of. You know, there seems to be a lot lately. Yeah, there will be a lot. So, um, but not all anime is like. Uh, but anime, so like a hundred, a hundred million, uh, I forgot, 200, 200 million yen. <coughs> so that <coughs> money is usually put together by a um, production committee. And that production committee wants to know that, okay, I'm going to put down this much amount of money, uh, when am I going to get my uh, money back, and you know how much money am I going to make on top of it. So, um, this is one of the reasons why you don't see any, like, edgy, um, you know, cool anime as much as before. So before, like, titles like Cowboy Bebop. Uh, for so, uh, I was speaking to the director at, um, in Singapore, basically, and um, Watanabe Ichiro-san. And he was talking about how Cowboy Bebop uh, nearly didn't happen because they just ran out of money, and it's very difficult to get money for like you know, something which was so, um, so it is so new. Um, but in the end, they did manage to get money from Bandai, and you know, it was a hit. So, um, so Mirai Millennium, even though the girls are kind of like more cute, it's not um, going to be um, a one of anime which you just forget about next year. So there's many titles, if you think about like last year anime titles, there's many titles that just came and went. And I want Mirai Millennium to be um, something which lasts, uh, stands, the sands of time, like, um, like Cowboy Bebop or uh, Eagle of the East, uh, Ghost in the Shell, um, which all happen to be written by um, a certain person uh, who I recently just happened to have a meeting with. Recently. So, um, so, to answer your question, um, yeah, there is a lot of that going there, but um, um, the reason is what I, I just spoke about just now. Okay, um, I think it was in November that you. Well, also involved with production ideas, uh, Kickstarter project Kick Hard. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do you think that there will be a, a future, uh, a future of uh, crowdfunded animes? I think that um, because that's something like just so, um, so Japan's a very, um, even though they come up with lots of cool stuff, it's still very, very traditional company. Really traditional. Company. I don't know if you watch the news. Instead of like computer graphics, they have everything on like. Um, a flip, like a foam board, and you've got like little stickers on it that they peel, and it's just very, um, and that's because they've done it like for so many different years, and it just works. It's a very, really traditional company. So, with things like crowds funding, uh, you know, it may take a while for like people to like look it onto the bandwagon and uh, start realizing that you know this is a way where they could raise funds uh, for, um, for anime. So, for me, for example, I'll definitely like place money on things which I'm interested in. So. So I want them to make a, um, a PS Vita version of 
a Super Famicom game called Axley, which came out, I don't know, 25 years ago. And so I'll definitely put money down for something like that, and I'll still buy the game when it came out. So I think there's lots of folks out there who you know, do want to support the anime industry and do want to contribute to something that they would like to see. So um, I think it's going to take a bit of time. We 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 are we are somewhat pandering to the otaku community in Japan. Would, would you would in the in the future would you pander it to the Pujoshis as well as well? Like introduce some BLs storyline. I think that um, for some reason or another, my Facebook. Um, so at the moment, I've got. I think I think it's two hundred sixty-five thousand uh, Facebook. Uh, likes on my Facebook and uh, something like 45% are um, female right now and I think that you know just like the way boys like cute girls I think that um, girls like cute boys but unfortunately um, I'm like an old man so which is why we have um, age group we can, like, just take over <laughs> so it'll be like any, any new character that might just go for AG. But he's a male instead. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I kind of like cute girls. Um, so we just recently introduced two new cute girls uh, to the Mirai Millennium uh, universe. And um, so yeah, those would be like just more uh, characters. Um, if you take a look at anime, you'll notice that even with uh, shows like uh, uh, Black Green, there's always a girl who, like, uh, who's well endowed, a girl who's not so well endowed, then there's a girl who's like completely flat. My kid is like to like so I have more genesis. So um, I think that's one of the recipes that, um, that I'm following as well. So, um, but that doesn't affect, that doesn't mean that you know my story is going to be uh, like fan service and that. Okay, thanks. So, will you be diving into the gaming business? So yeah, games, I like games. Um, and um, in January, uh, we... January, a few days time. January the 11th, I'll be in Thai for the Thailand Game Show. So there's also business matching going on. So I'll bring along my content, and then I'll be meeting also game users. And then from then on, we can explore um, like various uh, Mirai Millennium related games or more economy related games. So uh, I, I am interested in doing something uh, which is based around Japanese. Anything else? Are there any more plans to go further explore possibilities of, um, like, you know, your uh, Mirai app? So are there any plans to sort of something else or expand upon that? So for the mobile uh, platform, um, so at the moment we don't monetize from our mobile platform at all. Um, it's completely, uh, it's, it's more, we, we, I consider those costs more as marketing. And uh, the folks think it's kind like, one of the main reasons why I made the app is so that I can like be stroked in the so, uh, so that's why I generally do all my products. Uh, I usually only make products which are only I would use. Uh, so, which is why we don't have any white boy color t-shirts because I, I wouldn't wear white t-shirts. If it's a full inkjet uh, print, however, I would, I would wear a white t-shirt. With a white with t-shirt like this with a white design, with my, uh, at moments I don't feel suitable, which is why we don't make it basically. Yeah. Um, so answering the question, um, oh, yeah, oh yeah, the mobile stuff. Um, we, we will be like developing lots of different apps. Um, like the current VR club, we want to like you know, have more features and things like that. So yeah, new time. animations too. Yeah, new animations. Uh, but because it's, you know, we don't monetize from it. It's uh, it tends to be lower the price you might compare to like other things. Alright, we're done. Mm, oh, uh -huh. uh, someone relevant to that question just now, but uh, earlier this year the Mirai 
health not bad, you know. Uh, yeah. Will there be any plans for other characters, like the ones behind? Mouse pads. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about mouse pads. Um, I do want to have some yeah, mouse pads, but um, it's. Uh, I don't know whether it's a business I can grow. Um, I think that because the apparel market is, um, they seem to be quite successful. That's something I'd rather spend a little bit more time in. Uh, but having said that, next year there will be um, one new design of a uh, Daki Macro and one new design is a, um, a health mask. Okay. Um, the right cock tree uh, with the upgrade, like what uh, conversion, like Daku? Um, yeah, uh, it's something that I do want to do, but. Um, it's just a matter of like allocating time uh, and resources compared to like uh, other priorities. So one of the main priorities right now is uh, like some manufacturing which I'm doing uh, with these labels in here and the apparel business. So th those are the main uh, priorities right now. So but if we do have resources, we will continue to uh, upgrade them. Um, yeah, well, I got one question. Um, with your ever-growing fan base, of um, your Mirai, Mirai Millennium and your products, uh, most of the fans would like to get in touch with you and get um, to talk to you about about your stuff. What sort of medium would you suggest to your fans to to get to you? So uh, I think I'm more close to uh, people who actually leave comments on my website and. Uh, I've got to know lots of them personally. Um, I've hired a few of them, uh, some of them actually do like contractual work for me. And uh, so that's the easiest way to like um, get in contact with me. And uh, uh, yeah, I tend to favor people who like to uh, spend time on my website, basically. So, uh, so that would be it. Thanks. Anything else? All done? All done? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.